Thank you all for being so patient. Unfortunately, the Goody Reader X Big Me Galley we had in studio was the engineering sample we were passing around for development purposes when we were making this. So it was unable to be updated. So we rolled a fresh one off of the assembly line and we're going to crack this one open and we will subsequently show you guys the latest information on it because as you guys know this now has chat GPT and it has a bunch of other things including software tweaks and it is faster so let's open this beautiful box we're not going to be doing another unboxing for you but simply just literally unboxing it so we can get to the unit and grab the pen oh the pens in here now Wait a minute, didn't we have the pen separate? I don't know, I don't do any more of the development stuff. So let us see what is going on here. Open this up, pop this open, flip it on out, and away we go. All right, so this is the new galley. Well, not the new one, it's the exact same thing, but it is basically pre-updated, I think. I hope it's pre-updated, that was the agreed upon kind of situation but let's look at this pen while that boots up because i think this is still the a3 pen with the laser pointer it is it's just not in the it's just not in the traditional box it's now fitted in the box which i believe was a suggestion we kind of had amongst us to kind of put everything in one box instead of having separate accessory boxes if you guys want to see the latest Big Me update for the software across the Inkno Plus and the Galley, check the video card up above. For now, we're just going to go and look around how things have kind of sped up. Now, I can already tell you, just using this off camera for a second, moving things around, my goodness. This is a crazy update. Also, we will be finally showcasing this in the live showcase. If you're watching this right now, it'll be this Thursday. If you are watching it at a later date, you can watch the VOD, which will be on YouTube. Let us go to the note taking section and just look how this thing is hustling along. Honestly, this is surprising me as well because we were always using this kind of prototype engineering sample that was kind of just a little bit you know more of a tester unit than anything else but this is significantly faster this is so fast compared to what it once was i am so happy you guys are getting this update right around the time when you're actually getting the units delivered to you because as i have heard from the shipping department these are slowly funneling in it does seem that the blue has a little bit more latency than the red and i'm not sure in the software engineering side about why that occurs but the red just seems like there's no delay with zero latency and then everything else subsequently has latency now you do have the e-ink center where you can speed things up even more there's all these prompts because we just did an update you have black and white mode as well and black and white mode will allow you to move things even quicker but it eliminates all the colors. So now when you go here, you're not colorblind. That's just all the colors are gone. So we have black, gray, black again, gray again, white, gray, gray. So that's kind of the downside about all that. I'm going to save this note even though I don't really need to, but we'll save it all the same. Now, one of the things that you guys need to look at is storage and pictures because you guys have reservations about green. I'm not sure why that is. I don't know where the whole green thing came from. This has green. It always has had green and green works perfectly fine. Let's go to HD mode and we'll go look at some green photos. So we'll do a quick refresh. Now we are in HD mode, which does allow the colors to come through the best. So it's going to be slower, but that's green there's a very dark forest green there's a pine and there's some light sage so yeah it has green we're all good on the green account everyone and you can see this is white balanced as per the white polymer background we utilize here so there is totally green on the page now we're going to go look at a couple other photos because we have a little mix match of everything here we'll do another green one because this is scaling from left to right this is more of a gradient kind of thing so as you can see here we'll do a full refresh clean that all up and you have dark green right there going all the way to middle you have four different shades so that's all fine and dandy like sour candy now let's go to something you know what i always like yellow yellow really pops on gallery i should really set this to go always to gallery application but you know we'll just kind of leave it at that so we're going to do a refresh you got to do a refresh every time in hd mode it's absolutely critical but once you do that looks like a page out of a magazine and that's the beauty about Galley. If you guys or Gallery, sorry, if you guys are really just getting into it right now, Gallery 3 is a type of e-paper outside of Kaleido, outside of Triton, outside of 
Pearl, outside of everything, I'm trying to name all the names, Mobius and Carta, it's outside all that. This is Gallery 3, and it looks real. That lo That's 300 ppi in color. That looks like a piece of paper. That looks like a semi-matte, semi-gloss magazine ripped out. Look at that. It won't get any better than that. Is there a caveat? Yes, it's very slow in its HD mode because that's the way that the e-paper works. If it was as fast as Kaleido, there would be no reason for Kaleido. That's that's just the trade-off. There has to be a trade-off. And that's why it looks as good as it does. Look at this. We're going to refresh that. That looks real that looks as real as possible the only thing above this is spectra and that takes about 18 seconds to refresh so that's just not a usable technology but we've never seen this sample look quite like this before aside from just printing it on photo paper from our epson printer we have in the office here so this is gallery three everyone this is the future of the high quality no trade-off image wise of appearance of e-paper now the biggest trade-off as we said is speed so if you go to extreme mode this is where it gets completely usable you still get all the imagery but now you're able to handle it a little bit better you don't have to be hunkered down by how slow everything takes because now everything is usable i can go to my settings it doesn't just look like a like I'm, I went blind and everything's just white i just see a blinding light in front of my face it's completely usable now this is a very easy thing to utilize i have no problems touching everything it is on the slower side of course but you know what it kind of feels like kind of feels like kaleido one without any speed mode on that's kind of what i'm getting at right now it's not too slow it's not too fast it's kind of right in the middle but again you don't get any of that high quality appearance that you would unless you go and utilize HD mode. We're going to look at a few more things here. We're going to go back to our storage and we're going to look at documents and look at a PDF. We're just going to open up our traditional baseball PDF that we have as a benchmark because this means that the file remains consistent throughout everything and we will open it with X Reader, that is the stock reading application, because then we get the ability to take notes on it. So that looks pretty good. It doesn't look that crisp but I'm able to take notes right on the screen and utilize everything on the same palette. So if I want to add red in addition to what is already on the page, I can add red like that and away we go. Now, if we turn this over to HD mode, again, this is where all the colors are going to shine through quite literally and figuratively. Now just relax, sit back and wait for it to refresh because it does take some time. But once you're in it, it honestly, that's worlds different than it once was. To get to here and only have a second and a half a refresh versus four and then it having looking terrible, that was that was a little bit stifling. But that's why the latest update addresses all this. Big Me has worked very hard alongside us as well to make sure this update goes as planned and gets on all of these units. We will of course go over to an ebook as well, but ebooks in HD mode or even extreme mode is overkill because you don't need them to be this slow. That's what the black and white mode is for. We said we needed a black and white mode because look how slow this is to read books. Nobody wants to sit through this and you get all this ghosting. You don't need HD color 300 PPI in gallery 3 color to read an ebook. Go over here, change it to black and white, have it kind of do a little bit of a system refresh there and then once we go over to a legitimate page with some text on it you will see that it speeds up and now we can turn pages normally and read the book normally and it doesn't even flash refresh every single page which is really good and there's minimal ghosting in the background now you might be wondering it looks very peach in the background it looks beige none of the glow lights are on either and that's because much like regular e-paper that looks white and much like kaleido 3 that looks gray the inherent nature of gallery almost has this kind of peach hue to it and you can see this is not a camera trickery this is a white white balance polymer pure white background that we utilize and that's just what we're dealing with but you can counteract that by turning on or off the warm light or on or off the cold light and then it starts to change itself get a little bit whiter get a little bit more usable and it looks pretty good so if you guys missed it, the end roll will have the latest Big Me update information as well as the galley review on there so you guys can hit it up. We haven't done a dedicated galley review because it's not 
kind of our place to review our own thing. We did a little bit of a showcase. We're doing a live showcase as well, but we have sent these out to all these reviewers on YouTube and other video platforms for impartial reviews because that just makes the most sense. Other than doing an in-house product by an in-house reviewer makes no sense. So if you guys have any other questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. For now, this is the latest kind of look at the galley. Go over to YouTube if you're watching this later. Watch the live. You can click on the live tab. You can watch the VOD. Otherwise, stay tuned for this week, Thursday, for the live showcase on the Goody Reader X Big Me Galley.